Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing our 60 subscriber special. Yes, it finally happened after a while. We got to 60 subscribers. But we're going to be looking at this Auto World 1965 4 GT40. Really cool. Dirty edition, which is um, basically just dirty, I guess. But it looks really cool in my opinion. Definitely worth 60 subscribers. But let's just take a, um, also I forgot to mention, we're going to be comparing it to these uh, Ford GT40 the whole time, Hot Wheels one. So you can kind of see a quality difference. But let's just uh, take a look at the casing first. Uh, you can see on here it's set, it has a little Ford GT vintage racing and a couple of things about it which um, accurately scale, die cast metal body and chassis and rubber tires. Which is really cool that they add all those things. Um, this is special edition one of 2,400. It's kind of cool knowing that's um, limited actually. So also here is what it is for any of you that might want to buy it. And also here's the bat. But let's just take a look at the actual case now for it. I store in this case full time. Uh, but you can see it's just basically pretty boring. Um, but if you open it up, it does come with a little thing to hold the um, car in. So, I'm just going to demonstrate that real quick. So, I just put it back in and then slide it into the box. But, let's just take a look at the actual car now. So, first things first, let's look at the front. So, on the front, you can see there's those um, plastic headlights, which kind of look yellow on camera, but they're actually brown. And also, it has a little silver racing stripe, but since it's dirty, it kind of looks brown as well. And, oh yeah, um, on this car, parts of it look matte, like the back, and parts of it look glossy. So that's kind of cool. But also on the front, you can see there's that little dot. I'm not sure what the heck that's supposed to be, but it looks cool. Also, some fog lights, I think those are. But, um, that looks, I think the front looks really cool. How about you guys? But now let's take a look at the side. Actually, I forgot to do a comparison, so let's just do that real quick. Uh, you can see the detail is a lot better for the Auto World than the Hot Wheels one. But let's just take a look at the side now. So on the side, you can see it has Goodyear tires, very thick tires as well. And also golden rims, which look really cool in my opinion. It also says Ford right there, right next to the two racing number, which kind of is white on top and then fades into a yellow. Um, but also on the front, you can see it says um, it has like a little air intake, which um, all four GTs do. But that's the side, and I just noticed I called it the front. Sorry about that. But also on this side, it's basically the same thing. But let's take a look at the back now. Um, I'm just going to compare the size as well. I keep forgetting to do that. Sorry. On the side, you can see um, a pretty good dis difference. Also, the size difference is a lot more accurate for the auto world. But a pretty big difference between the two. Now, let's take a look at the back. So, on the back, you can see it has just painted on back headlights. Um... But also for the exhaust tips, it lo they look really cool. They're just painted silver. But you can kind of see inside there, there's this little part right here. Um, you can see part of the exhaust, which looks really cool in my opinion. And um, also on the back, you can see the racing stripe continues. And that's it for the back of this one. Now let's take a look at the top. So actually, I'm just going to compare backs again. Um, on the back of them, you can see there's another really big difference. This one has just big circle back headlights. This one has multiple circle back headlights. Um, but now let's take a look at the top for this one. So you can see the top for this one, matte on the back, and then glossy for the middle. Uh, but it has its little two right here, and um, an engine in there, which looks really cool. This also, you can see these... Um, outline for the doors and also it has little gas caps on each side that are painted silver which looks really cool in my opinion this is definitely one of my favorite castings in my whole entire collection but now let's just compare the tops 
And here's the inside for you guys. Try to shine a light in there. Looks pretty cool. So now let's take a look at the inside for this as well. This black plastic, nothing for you guys to really see. Now we just have the bottom, which is just metal. Has a uh, textured tires, I forgot to mention that. You can also see part of the exhaust through here and part of the whatever the heck this thing is. But it looks really cool and that's the bottom. So uh, also, you know, I said that the tires are textured already. But also on the bottom of this is just black plastic. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm just gonna put it on the turntable so you guys can see it go around a couple times. So, there you can see it right there. Um, here it is next to the 4GT for a little bit. But you can see a huge difference. A really cool casting, in my opinion. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.